Now check this out. This is the Chrissy Swan Show. Oh, good afternoon and welcome to the Chrissy Swan Show. Doing good, Jack? Doing great. I uh, I saw this morning that uh, you can go to London now from Sydney in two hours. I did see that the research has been done on this specific flight or something. That would be amazing. The cost would be $650,000, which I'm happy or not so happy to confirm is exactly the price per economy flight to Bali that is currently going. <laughs> really? I don't know what, what is going on with the flight prices. It's nuts. You'd be I... able to get to Bali for 400 bucks. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. And I thought this year they were meant to have started to come down a bit. I don't think so. Anyway, Mystic Chrissy's coming up and um, I'm, I'm really I'm in the mood and I want to say, I want to throw out there, Pug. Okay. Pug is going to make an appearance in uh, the Mystic Chrissy today. That's coming up soon. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. A lot of TV shows on free-to-air telly are um, really struggling, aren't they, in the ratings? They are. I think just our habits of watching stuff has changed so much. I think so. And I also think, I understand networks trying to try new things. Mm. But I was thinking, is that new balloon show that didn't rate very well? I think maybe we're past that because unless you know about a show like Maths or The Block that's on freeware already. You're not tuning in for something new. You're going to a streamer. Yes, it feels like that's true. Yeah. Speaking of the block, they have started filming the new series of it in a suburb in Melbourne. And Hampton. In Hampton. And I do, Hampton East, actually. How I wonder, sorry. <laughs> is Hampton East fancier than Hampton? Uh, no, it's further away from the beach, so it's on the other side of the highway. I oh! <laughs> Renovator's delight. Um, so they are filming it, and it's going to be a juggernaut. It, it is every single year. But I always do think, gosh, it would be annoying if out of all the streets in Australia... They pick yours. They pick yours. Yeah. Because, you know, with a television production, it's not just in and out. This takes so long and there would be trucks and crews and catering and everything. I mean, it would be a nightmare. And it's not even like you would get reprieve overnight because that show is shooting... 24 7 exactly exactly and then there's the circus of everybody coming to see them and the yeah. auctions and it would just go on and on the cafe the- van <laughs> oh my god look I, I would love that part um the producers have really pulled out all the stops here in terms of greasing up to the neighbors a big heartfelt letter from the ep the executive producer along with a bottle of red wine is that all? That's it. <laughs> oh, come on. That's it. Although if that works, maybe I should give one to the neighbour that hates my guts. You might get your cat back. <laughs> I don't want that cat back. <laughs> He's left me. He left me. If that angry neighbour who hates you said, I will give you your cat back, would you say, nah, keep it? Well, what, I would love to have him back. He's rejected me. I know, but you don't even want to try. The ca- I did try once. Really? Yes. I got him. I caught him and then I put him inside and I fed him and I loved him up and then I locked the cat door. Okay, the fact you even used the word caught, you don't need him back. So he couldn't <laughs> he couldn't get out, right? So the cat door was closed to him and he cried at that cat door for 24 hours. Oh. He hates me. He really does. I don't know who hates me more, the neighbour or the cat. Hey, sad news. You know, Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield, they're probably two names that you do not recognise, but everybody knows the shenanigans of this man and this woman on UK Breakfast TV. Well, Bess, are you all right? I'm fine. Sorry. Got a bit of sad clam stuck in your throat? Just enjoy it. (laughs) Here we go. <laughs> what the hell was that? What was that noise? You've never. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I mean, that sort of chemistry and magic is really rare. They're great and genuine mates, you can tell. Well, no. Apparently, they've had a terrible falling out. What? And they're continuing on as if nothing has happened. I tried to do a deep dive on the falling out, but no one's giving any details. 
Wow, because I remember he came out publicly in like 2020 and she really was his support and stood by him. And he has said, she is my rock, but apparently it's over, which just makes me sad. Platonic love is dead. When's that going to happen to us? Never, Jack, (laughs) never. The Chrissy Swan Show. For beauty, health, wellness and advice you can count on, visit Priceline Pharmacy. Priceline has a massive range of brands at great prices. Whatever you're after, you'll find it at Priceline Pharmacy. Hurry into your nearest Priceline Pharmacy or check out Priceline.com today, you. Come in, Renee. Hello. Did I just see you push aside the beads in the doorway <laughs> and take a seat in front of my crystal ball? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Renee, go along Come with on, it. Renee. Okay. You know how this works, Renee? <laughs> yes, I do. All right. Who's got the pug around you, the dog pug? Um, no one, actually. Maybe throw a J in front of it or something. <laughs> NM. <laughs> a different kind of UG. <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> okay. Why is the colour yellow around you, Renee? My oldest daughter used to love the colour yellow, so she has a lot of yellow clothes. Right. Okay, we're on. Okay, we're on. I don't know where this is coming from, Renee, but cricket. The cricket. I used to play every Christmas with my grandparents at their house. It's very important. You really tapped in here. I've written down the word Macedonia, Renee. (laughs) No, it doesn't ring a bell. (laughs) Malta. No. Maltesers. (laughs) Do you like Maltesers? (laughs) Renee, who doesn't like Maltesers? Sorry. Come on, Renee. I do like them, but not all the time. Roy, boy, joy, soy. Do any of them mean anything to you, Renee? Not that I can recall right now. (laughs) <laughs> Although I do, do live in the house with only one boy. The rest ah. of us are all girls, so that could be... <laughs> there you go. And you sound like you're very joyous. I try to be. With three kids, it's a little tricky. Oh, God, it's impossible. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> soy, soy is strong. Who is on soy milk or soy sauce lover? <laughs> I love sweet soy. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't? Um. Yes. I haven't had sweet soy forever. <laughs> All righty, come on, I one big hit. On you have it on anything? Pretty much. That's interesting. See, that's interesting. Yeah. That, that's a hit. That's a proper love to whack it on anything. Yeah, I quite often use it like a glaze on, you know, if I'm cooking meat or anything like that. I've got written here quiche. I love cooking them, making them, but my child refuses to eat them. We'll eat them. <laughs> and when you have a pie, you scoop out the filling with a spoon. Yes. <gasps> yes! Yes! Let's end on that. Thank you so much, Renee. You have got yourself a voucher to buy yourself a brand spanking new pair of glasses from Specsavers plus $250 cash to spend on sweet soy or whatever you want. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, Renee. Talk to you soon. You too, thank you. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. I want to talk to you about some very, very exciting news that has uh, come across my desk, i.e. I've done a deep dive for. On what? Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares is coming back. Wow, you love this show. It is, without question, in my top five, right? Because it's all over YouTube and you go back and watch highlights, don't you? I've watched the series as it happened and then whenever I feel like, you know when you're going, oh, what can I watch? What do I feel like? The answer's always Gordon Ramsay's <laughs> Kitchen Nightmares. And it's one of those things I can watch the same episode over and over. For example, me and my mate Dino, who you know as well. Yes. We both agree that it's the finest show that's ever been produced. <laughs> um, just eat in a nutshell, by the way, is Gordon Ramsay, world famous chef, goes into pretty bad restaurants and tries to turn them around. But he does it in that inimitable, very rude Gordon Ramsay way. 
And it's heaven, right? And he doesn't mince words and you just can't believe that he's saying it to these people. And it hasn't been on since like 2014. I know. It's been 10 years and it's coming back, which I'm so excited about because he hasn't settled down at all. Uh, Back to what I was saying about Dino and I, we had a, a very, very deep discussion about it one night and we decided that... The best episode of the first series, yeah. uh, of the first season, you know, was ABC. And I introduce you now to Amy from Amy's Baking Company. This is what you can expect from the contestants, let alone Gordon Ramsay. Have a listen. Well, we have three little boys, but they're trapped inside well. cat buddies. Meow. <laughs> yeah, they're cats. Our babies are cats. Meow, 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 meow. Okay. <laughs> Proper so, nuts. Proper nuts. If you can possibly Google Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares ABC, you will not be sorry, right? So the contestants are bonkers. The right? casting producers do well then. Oh, my to God. To find these nuggets of gold. And Gordon just doesn't take any prisoners. You can't believe how he treats some of these people. So there's another episode, I think it's in the first season actually, called The Mixing Bowl, right. which is, you know, the, the cafe that he's trying to save is called The Mixing Bowl. And he's there. The first scene is always him arriving at the restaurant and the owner putting on a meal for him, which then Gordon has to eat and critique. <laughs> Please enjoy the following snippet. May I ask what you think of the crowd peeps? May I ask you not to stare at me? <laughs> Absolutely. I feel really uncomfortable. No problem. You know, I've got this cockroach on your back, you're trying to shake off, and I like to just sit and enjoy my lunch. <laughs> Calling another human a cockroach is top tier insult. And just the so way good. the owner of the restaurant, he's being so well behaved and he's watching him like a hawk. Gordon Ramsay's eating his crab cakes. Like, this is a big deal. And for him to say, May I ask how you like the crab cakes? Like, he's got his best manners in. Oh. And Gordon just looks at him like he's an in- insignificant bum hair, as Gina Liano would say, and just says very calmly, May I ask you not to look at me? May Honestly. I ask what you think of the crowd peeps? Yeah. May I ask you not to stare at me? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good and uh, it is coming back. He's producing it as well, which is very, very cool. exciting. He knows yeah. what people want. Oh, yeah, and... He's going to give it to us. I cannot wait. The Chrissy Swan Show. Now, John Cleese, ex Monty Python, one of the funniest, most accomplished comedians in the world. Faulty Towers, of course. An icon in every sense of the word. He's touring Australia. The tour kicks off on the 24th of July. This isn't a plug, it's just a community service announcement, really. I think you'd be amazing to go and see. It's, there's, he's going to be in your city, basically. Yeah. And uh, he was on a, a radio station this morning being interviewed. And he said this, and I just thought it was very interesting. He said, I think the people who do the counts cancelling in a cancel culture don't seem to have much of a sense of humour. Yes. And I don't think people without a sense of humour should cancel stuff that people with a sense of humour enjoy. Yes, please. It's so well done. Of course, we're not talking about things that are uh, hateful or terrible like that. But some of the stuff, you know, is funny. And uh, and I think we do need to take a little bit of it with a, with a grain of salt, Absolutely. don't you? Especially if you're a comedian or you're in the... Industry of making people laugh. That's it. Chill out, man. That's it. You can't please all the people all the time, no. can you, Jack? Uh, before <laughs> the end of the show, I'm going to reveal to you why um, my Mother's Day gift to my gorgeous mum, Pat Swan, is still at my back door. It's Wednesday. I love a Pat Swan story. Oh, yeah. The plot thickens. Chrissy's Quizzy. Did you see the faces of the guys from Specsavers yesterday when we handed over a, a limited edition bum bag to everybody in the meeting? I was too busy negging it, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't watch how excited I didn't. They were. I didn't think that you had your face out of your hands for long enough <laughs> to see their reaction. Well, they were very happy, as will you be, Mel, if you win. I reckon. I reckon so too. And Sarah, how exciting. Your very own bum bag. Very excited. Oh, you've got a beautiful accent, Sarah. I love it. Oh, thank you. All right, let's do this, shall we? Your name is your buzzer. It's best of five. Being the first person to get three answers correct wins the game. And we'll walk away with the money can't buy Chrissy Swan Show bum bag. Question number one. Last week was Rihanna's son's birthday. How old did Rizza turn? Sarah. Yes. One. Correct. 
you can sniff Yay. the bum. You can sniff the bum bag from here, can't you, Sarah? <laughs> I think you're talking about Riza for a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What did Rihanna would be sniffing his bum because that's what happens is you pull up, you you hold your baby and to check. give their nappy a sniff. Yep. <laughs> Question number two. What does KFC stand for? Mel. Yes, Sarah. Mel. Kentucky Fried Chicken. The best. One apiece. Question number three. Today is reality star Charlotte Crosby's birthday. Which TV show did she rise to fame on? Mel. Yes, Mel? Jodie Shaw. Jodie Shaw. I love her. She's just had a baby, I think. Yeah. Mm. I think she still has her podcast with our network, I believe. Okay, there you go. All right, two to Mel, one to Sarah. Mel, you are one correct answer away from rocking that bum bag from Bondi to Coogee. Oh, you are a good boy. (laughs) Who is the oldest Kardashian sister? Mel? Yes, Mel? Kim Kardashian. Ah, no! Oh, no. All right. It's we're going Courtney. Into, it is Courtney. We're going in. Also, the most boring, I reckon. Oh, totally. Okay. As Kim once said, you're the most... In- no, what did she say? <laughs> you're the least interesting to look at. Oh, my God. <laughs> Question number six. What is Pink's real name? Mel. Mel. Alicia. Correct. <laughs> you... Have just scored yourself a limited edition money cut by bum bag with the Christmas one show written on it, Mel. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you. And you, Sarah, Sarah. just for playing along, you get in the draw for 10K a day in May. Keep your phone on. Our pals Ricky Lee, Tim and John might be calling you this afternoon. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's An ex-premier has come out and said that young people should do national service and ill. National service? Is that like the army? Yes. Gross. I googled it. I just, I've just never liked the idea of it. Oh. But in some countries you are forced to do it. So you get to sort of the end of your teenage years and you've got to do two years. Two years. I wouldn't have made it out. Of something called... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I'd go up to a trench and just be like, take me. Really? Yeah. I'd be so scared. Apparently it's character building. <laughs> I'll show you character building. I just I just could think of nothing worse. I bet you there's mud involved. I and know. Like someone yelling at you to do things. It'd be really? It'd be like the biggest loser. It would. <laughs> oh, my God. I've just described the biggest loser. You have. And, I mean, I have so much respect for everyone that's done it in the past because I look at them in awe that I'm like... I could never do any of that. And also, I look at my children, who are the next generation. <laughs> there is no way. No. This is the thing with a premier like this coming out saying it. It's like, yeah, I get 50 or 40 years ago that might have been okay. Well, it was abolished here in 1972. So that's nearly 50 yeah. years ago. Like, that's all but that's a couple of generations, really, that are just like, what, what is this? The world is so different now. I just can't imagine it no. working. And plus, can you imagine how all the lawsuits and stuff? Do you know what I mean? You look at someone the wrong way now and you're in trouble. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Let alone telling them to crawl through trenches. It's like, no. Just go on SAS if you want to do that. Speaking of teenagers, The Weekend has sat down with Vanity Fair, which is my favourite international magazine. Um, reminds me, where is my subscription? Someone's stealing it, I think. It's the one I subscribe to. I get a hard copy of it. Oh, absolutely someone's stealing that. Delivered to the house. I wish I knew you were getting it. I would have stolen it. At great expense. It's so <laughs> I know. expensive. Anyway, you know, easy come, easy go, I guess, whatever. Um, but The weekend is set down with Vanity Fair, done a cover shoot, etc. And he has acted like a cranky teenager. I love The weekend, but he seems like he's done with music from his previous interviews the past month. I feel like he does because last week we revealed that, you know, The the, the weekend was dying. I didn't know that it was an alter ego. So The weekend is going to die and, you know, his his real person is going to come out, apparently. Abel. Abel. He says, um, he was asked about his artistry, to which he said, nobody's out dancing or out singing Beyonce. (laughs) There's a lot of musicians that are not as famous that can out dance and out sing me for sure. They can't do what I do as the weekend. Ooh. On his life, right? Imagine just a few zits and a stinky pheromone. It hasn't had a shower in two weeks. You know, classic teenager. Yeah. I've always had to bet on myself, even before I was the weekend, just in life. As soon as I got out of my mother's womb, it's been bet on yourself. It's not going to be easy, you know. <laughs> wow. I mean, come on. He sounds a bit down. Walk it off. 
Walk it off, Wiccan. Walk it off, Wiccan. <laughs> <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Patty Swan, my mother, she's an interesting woman. And she's recently been in Sydney, but she was flying home on Mother's Day. And I've got her this gorgeous present, right? Sports craft jumper, bits and bobs. It's beautiful. Oh, heaven. And it's in a gorgeous gift box. And, and she would love that. Oh, my God. we were so I was so excited to give it to her on Sunday night. But then I got a, a message from her uh, saying, look, I've just arrived. Can I come over? She was. I could tell she was crazy, right? Yeah. Because ha- travelling is an anxiety-inducing thing, even for me. And also, it is now at our age and my age. But yeah. it, maybe once you get a bit older, it would be really stressful. It, it is stressful. And she's a solo woman. Like, she does everything yeah. on her own. And she was by herself. And I just got an idea that maybe things weren't, you know, quite okay. Anyway, I said, look, if you can get here on Mother's Day evening, you can. If not, don't worry, it'll wait. Anyway, she goes, no, no, I really want to see you. She was, so she was en route to my house. Got the present ready. I was really excited. And then I get a uh, phone call from her about two hours later saying, I can't find my car. <laughs> so the apple hasn't fallen too far from the tree there in terms of lady madness. Yeah. So if anyone understands that, it's me. And I said, that's okay. Just go home, relax, make yourself a cup of tea. Well, she was already at home. We'll find your keys. Don't worry. You can get the, the present anytime. That was fine. Then the next day I got a message apropos of nothing out of the blue saying, can you believe those cancellations cost me $10 each? I am so mad. And because it's so bloody digital, I really don't know how to <laughs> object. She said, wait, this is my favourite. She goes, if I knew how to post it on a Facebook or Instagram, I would be scathing. Love it. Right, so something's happened, and I just go, sorry, who cancelled? I don't know what's going on. Then I keep texting going, when are you going to get your present? When am I going to see it's you? Well, there. No response. And then this morning I get this voice message. Hi, darling. I've, I've missed your phone call. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't think I'll be seeing because I think I might have COVID. I don't know. <gasps> Patty's voice. It's the most feeble alarming message I've ever received. And I think what we need to do, Jack, is call her now and see if she's okay. Oh, let me get a number. All right, great. There it is. It remembers. Muscle memory. Hi. Hi. I'm just calling to see if you're okay. Oh, yeah, of course I am. <laughs> the message that you, you sent me was very worrying, the voicemail. No, it's... Just that my voice is unpredictable. I, okay. And so it must, it must, I've, I've got a bit of a flu. <laughs> oh, Patty. Oh. I'm sorry for laughing. We love you. Yeah. But I you're okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, like, if I'm dying, I will actually alert you to that. <laughs> it's weird because it just goes up and down. And it makes me sound like I'm 116. <laughs> oh, oh, Patty. You know, I've got your Mother's Day present in a beautiful box by the back door, <laughs> given you didn't arrive on Sunday and then you never got back to me on Monday. Oh, yeah, and- because you know what I've been through. And you've got to show me how I can contest those two cancellations from Uber driving. Yes, yes, no. That's ridiculous. They charge you $10. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, well, I'm glad to know that you're okay. Yeah, I am, darling. The voice sounds weird, but I'm okay. <laughs> that it does. It does sound weird. Rest up, Patty. Yeah. But um, okay, all right, okay. I'll, okay, I'll see on. you soon. I'll drop in some chicken soup. I've got one. Do you want it? Okay. A what, love? A chicken soup. Oh, yes, because that's going to make me terrific. Okay. I'd love it. Easy <laughs> <Okay>. fix. <laughs> See Patty Swan. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fine. She's obviously. all good. Oh, dear God. How did I survive it? We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> we Our will. sweeping statements return. Yes. Follow us on Instagram, The Chrissy Swan Show, and DM us. We run it. And uh, all your unpopular opinions, this is the safe place to share them. It sure is. Now, check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.